let's all agree that the Ravens couldn't hope for a smoother path to the playoffs than the one that has presented itself over the final weeks of the regular season. They need to win the remaining three games on their schedule to assure themselves of a berth in the playoffs and they will play those games against teams that own three of the worst records in the AFC, which should be comforting for fans of a team that has overcome all sorts of obstacles to put itself in this position. And yet, I can't help thinking that it's still going to be a bumpy ride. Long before he emerged as the unexpected salvation of the Ravens' offense, Alex Collins stamped himself as a rare character. It began with him sprinting off the field after every practice as if he was late for class, his helmet still clamped over his shoulder-length dreadlocks and a dark visor. Long before he emerged as the unexpected salvation of the Ravens' offense, Alex Collins stamped himself as a rare character. It began with him sprinting off the field after every practice as if he was late for class, his helmet still clamped over his shoulder-length dreadlocks and a dark visor. Nothing has come easy for the Ravens this season, and the events of the past weekend only reinforced the notion that there is no way to predict what's going to happen during this year of playing dangerously in the NFL. Did anybody think that the Ravens and Pittsburgh Steelers would play the wildest offensive game of the week last Sunday night? Could anyone have suspected the New England Patriots would look so pardon the expression deflated on Monday night against a Miami Dolphins team that was absolutely crushed by the slumping Ravens on Thursday night football in late October? Of course, the Ravens should beat the Browns on Sunday in Cleveland. Everybody else has of course, they should take care of business against the three-win Indianapolis Colts at M&T Bank Stadium next week. And really? Does anyone think the Cincinnati Bengals will even show up here on New Year's Eve? There's some logic there. This is not the same Ravens team that lost four of five games before that 40-0 victory over Miami sparked a mid-season turnaround. Even in the wake of last week's heartbreaking loss to the Steelers, it was obvious that Joe Flacco and the offense had taken the kind of step forward that might make the Ravens a formidable playoff team. NBC analyst Chris Collinsworth acknowledged that during Sunday night's game in Pittsburgh, pointing out that nobody wants to see the Ravens in the playoffs, but they have to get there first. If they do and they have any trouble dispensing with any of their last three opponents then they will face a new set of questions about their viability in the postseason. They are 0-5 this season against teams that are certain or very likely to be in the playoffs. There has been a lot of talk over the past week about the infamous 2007 loss to the winless Dolphins that helped seal the fate of former coach Brian Billick. You've also probably heard the term trap game discussed almost daily while we media types look for reasons why the winless Browns might overwrite the Ravens' playoff narrative. This will be no trap game. 